What's the difference? Uh, a hobbit is a mortal halfling inhabitant of Middle Earth, whereas an elf is an immortal tall warrior. So why the hell would you want to be a hobbit? <laughs> because he's neither tall nor immortal, and none of us could be the Flash. Oh, <laughs> well, whatever. Why don't you go hop off on a quest? I'm talking to Penny. I think we're all talking to Penny here. I'm not. No offense. <laughs> Okay, maybe you didn't hear me. Go away. Alright, Kurt, be nice. Oh, you being nice. Right, little buddy? Okay. I understand your impulse to try to physically intimidate me. I mean, you can't compete with me on an intellectual level, and so you're driven to animalistic puppy. Call me a puppy animal? <laughs> of course not! No, he's not. You're not, right, Leonard? No, I said animalistic. I mean, of course, we're all animals, but some of us have climbed a little higher on the evolutionary tree. If he understands that, you're in trouble. So what? I'm unevolved? You're in trouble. <laughs> I know you use a lot of big words for such little war. Okay, Kurt, please. Uh, it's okay. I can handle this. I'm not a dwarf. I'm a hobbit. A hobbit. Are misfiring neurons in your hippocampus preventing the conversion from short-term to long-term memory? <laughs> okay, now you're starting to make me mad. <laughs> a homo habilis discovering his opposable thumb says what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I think I've made my point. Yeah? How about I make a point out of your pointy little head? Let me remind you, while my moral support is absolute, in a physical confrontation, I will be less than useless. There's not going to be a confrontation, in fact. I don't think you can even spell confrontation. <laughs> C-O-N... Confrontation! Kurt, put him down this instant! He started it! I don't care, I'm finishing it, put him down! Fine. You're one lucky little leprechaun. He's a hobbit. I got your back. Leonard, are you okay? Yeah, no, I'm fine. It's good. It's a good party. Thanks for having me. Well, it's just getting a little late, so... Okay. All right. Thank you for coming. Uh -huh. Happy Halloween. If it's any consolation, I thought that Homo Habilis line really put him in his place. <laughs> What's that? Tea. <laughs> when people are upset, the cultural convention is to bring them hot beverages. <laughs> Talk about it? Oh. Good. Oh. There, there was really all I had. Good night, Sheldon. Good night, Leonard. Hey, Leonard? Hi, Penny. Hey, just wanted to make sure you're okay. I'm fine. I'm so sorry about that happened. But it's not your fault. <sighs> yes, it is. That's why I broke up with him. He always does stuff like that. So why was he at your party? Well, I ran into him last week, and he was just all apologetic about how he's changed. He was just going on and on, and I believed him. I'm an idiot because I always believe guys like that, and he can't go back to my party because he's there, and I know you don't want to hear this, and I'm upset, and I'm really trapped, and he just wanted to fuck me. Have you had a drink tonight? Just a lot. Are 
are you sure that you're being drunk and you're being angry with Kurt? Doesn't have something to do with what's going on here? It might. Are you really smart? Yeah, I'm a freaking genius. Leonard, you are so great. Why can't all guys be like you? Because if all guys were like me, the human race couldn't survive. I should probably go. Specialists can tell you if your taxes could be affected. No appointment needed, and no charge. It's been a while since Doc has seen his ex-girlfriend. Hey, your help, Doc. It all starts to get a little peculiar after that. <laughs> summoned him. It's not the Marvel comic story, it's the original Norse god. Thank you for the clarification. I'm supposed to give him a ride home. But I'm sure he'll be fine. He has his hammer. 